What's going on YouTube? I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this weekend, I saw Serenity, starring uh, Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, principally, and then you've got Jason Clark, Diane Lane, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this right, but Jamon Hansu, uh, sprinkled in for a little bit of flavor. Uh, I really don't know how to describe this movie uh, in great detail without spoilers. Uh, so I'll start with the intro that you can see from the trailer. Uh, it's a movie about you know a fisherman uh, who obviously has a bit of a troubled past, uh, and then it comes back up again in the form of his ex-wife. Uh, meeting him, you know, on kind of the island and, you know, place that he's uh, resigned to and wants him, uh, tries to offer him a payment to kill her current husband, uh, you know, her abusive husband. And that's what the trailer leaves you with, but with the idea that there's, you know, more to the story, there's more to his past or there's something... Uh, that we're not seeing. Uh, I can tell you probably the best thing that I could do to help you enjoy this movie uh, is to tell you to any preconceptions uh, about what you think this movie is about or how you think this movie would go, throw those away. Throw those out right now. Uh, this film has a 21% score on Rotten Tomatoes and a 31% audience score. Uh, the average rating was a 4 out of 10. Uh, and I believe the reason why uh, a lot of that is not so much uh, for the plot of the movie itself, uh, but so much in that it's not the movie, the movie you get is not the movie that you think that you're going to see. Uh, so if you're all primed on you know, seeing a certain type of movie, you know, kind of a mystery thriller, you know, a, a drama, you know, a little bit of action, you know, murder mystery type thing, uh, very tense type of film. Uh, that is not what you're going to get at all uh, in any capacity. Uh, so I want to say if that's what you're expecting, really you have to try and get that out of your head and, and go into this movie kind of like how I did uh, and take it for what you get. Uh, I never, I didn't see the trailer before seeing this movie. Uh, I had the trailer described to me by a friend about what the film was about. Uh, but that was the extent of it. Uh, I'm not going to go so far as to say don't watch the trailer. Uh, but if you watch the trailer and then go to see the movie based on, you know, because that's the type of movie that interests you, then I think you're going to have uh, a score for this movie that reflects, you know, why it's got 31% uh, of Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to say that I did enjoy the movie. Uh, the plot, it's kind of funny. It's something that I was actually uh, recently talking with someone about. Uh, and it was kind of a bit surreal to see how I was just talking about this and then I hadn't seen a film like this and then to see them uh, bring this film or bring that concept uh, to uh, a recent movie, a uh, current movie. And the movie is a lot more philosophical uh, and, and scientific than you think that you're gonna get. Uh, that's a type of uh, theme uh, that this movie explores. Uh, very moralistic uh, type of movie as well. Uh, now that said, uh, like I said, even if you go into this movie uh, without those expectations, uh, I, I'm gonna say it's not a perfect film. Uh, I think uh, very ambitious. Uh, it's very ambitious in the grand scope of what it's trying to detail. Uh, I don't think the execution was perfect. Uh, not to say that there was anything uh, wrong with the acting. Uh, I thought Anne Hathaway did a decent job. Uh, McConaughey, uh, he does great as he uh, has been doing for quite some time. Uh, Diane Lane, we don't see her much, but she does a good job. Uh, 
So when I say the execution, I don't mean to say that the, the acting was flawed, uh, but I think how they chose to introduce this giant concept, uh, uh, this really big uh, type of philosophical uh, debate, uh, how they chose to introduce it uh, through this film uh, was a bit flawed. Uh, I think that is me personally. I think there should have been a, a different starting point for uh, to introduce that type of thing. Uh, I, I really think this is uh, something that should have been explored in a different type of film. Uh, and I'm trying to think. I can't think of something uh, specifically a, a genre that would have been better suited to this. Uh, but the way it, it was done. I can see what other critics, uh, one of the reviews that I read said that it's not uh, as clever as it thinks it is or not as entertaining. And like I said, watching the film, I can understand that. Uh, how deep, I guess, it's trying to go. Uh, it, it, it's trying to, to me, it was, it was almost akin to, you know, putting a lake where a swimming pool is. You know, as, as deep as that you're trying to go, uh, the film just doesn't have enough range uh, for them to explore so uh, big of a concept, uh, especially not when they were devoting screen time, you know, to other things. Uh, so in that respect, I 100% understand why it got those type of reviews. Uh, I would encourage seeing this movie, like I said, if you go into it without those expectations, just because I think that it's definitely something uh, if you take it for what it is, it's definitely something that's going to leave you thinking after the movie. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of fodder that's going to keep your uh, mind wondering about things and then about going forward. Uh, it'll make you think about things, you know, in your own personal life. Uh, so for that aspect and that quality, uh, I, I would recommend seeing it. I think that... Uh, a lot of viewers would stand to enjoy that that type of perspective, that type of idea that you really don't see. I haven't seen. Uh, I watch a lot of uh, media as far as TV shows and uh, you know Netflix, Amazon Prime, movies, uh, video games. Uh, you know, I, I consume a lot of you know entertainment and storylines and plot lines that way. And this is something that I haven't really seen played out uh, in, in, in a lot of media. Uh, it is something that recently I have heard uh, some prominent scientists uh, talking about. So it's, it's kind of hard to really get into it because I don't want to uh, spoil, you know, the, the overarching theme of the movie. Uh, but I'd say just to see uh, that notion played out on film, I'd say it's worth seeing. Uh, just with the caveat, uh, not perfect with the execution. Uh, you may think that you know, this movie is really taking on a lot more than it can handle. Uh, but just to see that novelty on screen, uh, you're probably going to see this trope uh, maybe again, uh, similar to how, you know, time traveling movies, you know, are a trope. Uh, you know, you, you've seen probably a dozen or so, you know, and, and some are done better than others. And I think this is a, uh, an idea that you're going to start seeing in other films, but, you know, some are going to be done better than others. And uh, I'm excited for the day, maybe, <laughs> when I'll see a film that has this type of similar trope, you know, but it's done in a much better way. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you disagree with me, uh, this is a film where I said I think that there's a lot to talk about. Uh, it, leave me a comment you know I get back to you but you know this is the type of film that uh, to be honest even though I didn't love the movie this is the type of film that I love to go to the movies for because uh, these type of ideas are things that I love to discuss you know and talk about uh, so hit the like subscribe button leave me a comment uh, let me know what you think uh, thanks for watching final rating for the movie uh, 7 out of 10 I'd probably give it an eight and a half out of ten, you know, for an ambition, a for effort. Probably around a five, five and a half for an execution. Uh, but like I said, it's something that I would say that's worth seeing in theaters. Uh, thanks for watching.
Have a great week, guys.